Saints are they that hate evil. Psalm 97.10, Ye that love the Lord hate evil. He preserveth the souls of the saints, and delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. Folks, this is the very definition of repentance. 2 Corinthians 7.10, For godly sorrow worketh repentance to salvation, not to be repented of, but the sorrow of the world worketh death. John 3.19-21, This is the condemnation. Light has come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. Repentance in a nutshell. You understand, your sin offends a holy God. Your sin is what put Jesus on the cross. He took your punishment, and you don't want to do it anymore. That's the definition of repentance. Nothing more, nothing less. It is not a work. It is not legalism. It is a change that takes place inside you when you come to the Lord Jesus Christ. And it is required for salvation. Because if it isn't. Then 2 Corinthians 7. 14 is a lie. Because it says repentance. Is unto salvation. But again. It's not some. Cosmic. Esoteric thing. That's hidden that you do. That you don't. Oh, well, I, I don't know what the Bible says. I don't know how to repent. I don't know what it means, repent. And then you got people out there who are, who are muddying the waters. It's like you buy a nice bottle of, of clue, clear, cool, filtered spring water, and it's, oh, it's so refreshing. And then somebody comes over, picks up a piece of doggy left over, and drops it right in there. And they, they don't just muddy the water, they make it undrinkable. Repentance is just that. You know your sin offended God, and you, you, you know put Jesus on the cross, that he went to that cross to save you. That sin you know is going to take you to hell, and that's why he went to the cross to save you, and you just don't want to do it anymore. That's it. That's the cool, clear, clean water. Don't you let nobody come and add nothing to your bottled water. It's the very definition of repentance. Repentance takes a person from hating good, again referring to John 3, to hating evil. From hating light to hating darkness. 